A lot of eyes on Governor Murphy. On Monday, he announced that New Jersey schools would remain closed for the remainder of the academic year. Monica Guy explains the fallout for families and how this decision could impact the comeback from the COVID-19 shutdown. We are announcing that all New Jersey school buildings will remain closed for in-person instruction for the remainder of the 2019-2020 school year and that all students and faculty will continue with remote learning. Private schools with longer academic years will remain closed until at least June 30. With that announcement, the governor answered one of the biggest questions being asked in New Jersey. We reached this conclusion based on the guidance from our public health experts and with a single goal in mind, the safety and well-being of our children and of our educators, administrators and staff. Spring sports also officially canceled and many students and parents now wondering what graduation could be like. I also know that our graduating seniors were looking forward to their proms and walking across the stage to receive their diplomas in front of their families and friends. I still want to see them have those opportunities and we will also work with districts on safe and creative ways to give the class of 2020 a proper send off to their bright futures. The announcement comes at what you could call a precarious time, as if homeschooling weren't tough enough. Many working parents are facing the additional challenge of potentially being recalled to work while schools are closed and childcare options are limited. Everyone's talking about reopening, reopening, but what does that mean? I don't have that answer and neither do my husband. The next few weeks we're okay because we've set up our routine, but after that, I don't know what's gonna happen and that's scary for us. Meanwhile, some teachers are already looking ahead to the 2020-2021 school year, like Nicholas Ferroni, who's trying to anticipate how things will change. I think a lot of school districts are gonna start the plan for next year uh, to try to find creative ways and safe ways to ensure uh, the students, the staff, uh, the workers, the employees, and the students' families that we could give them to a certain extent, somewhat normalcy of what the school year looked like prior to this pandemic. New Jersey now becomes the 46th state to close schools for the remainder of the academic year. For Chasing News, I'm Monica Guy.